And welcome back to Titans Media Day. I'm Denny Kopp, voice of the Women Titans, along with Maxine Moore. Max, a pleasure to have you back here in Callahan Hall. You played some high school games here, didn't you, or no? Uh, no, we didn't play any high school games here, but um, I came to a lot of mm -hmm. home games as a recruit and uh, loved the atmosphere, so it feels really good to be back here. Max, I was fortunate enough to be on the call of a number of your high school state basketball finals games, and uh, you, you brought a winning attitude. Um, you were very polished, and what I would say is knowing that you know the last couple of seasons have been a challenge here, what can your um, presence mean to, to this team, not just on the court, but also off the court as well in terms of providing that winning mentality and knowing what needs to be done to get this team to where they want to be? Well, I think that I try to focus on always kind of bringing a positive impact to the team, whether it be on the court or off the court. Um, always trying to bring my teammates together, especially off the court, because I feel like chemistry is a big part of winning games. And if we don't have good chemistry, then it doesn't really matter you know, what we do on the floor. So um, I think my mentality is just to come with a lot of energy and try to bring energy out of everybody else because it, it gets hard when we're, when we're, you know, our backs are against the wall in the game and we got to respond. So that's just going to be my focus, getting energy out of everybody else and just playing together. Max, what brought you back home? Why are you here? Uh, family. Family is the most important thing to me. Um, my mom has been there for me my entire life and she needed me. And my grandma, she's a second mom to me. She's been been there for me for as long as I can remember. I grew up in her house, and um, they needed me, and I just I felt I felt home calling, mm -hmm. and so I knew that this was probably the best move. So when Coach Scott said he wanted me, I was like, this is perfect, and kind of kind of feels good that I get to redeem myself and make the right decision this time. So. Amen. That's awesome. Now, what's your impression of the, the coaching staff? Obviously, you knew Coach Scott pretty well. O.T. Steps is in his second year here, and I'm imagining you're spending a lot of time with him uh, yes. playing with the bigs. Uh, just your, your initial thoughts, having spent a few months with this group, and uh, you know what, what's, your, what's your feeling on the staff and, and how you'll fit in? Um, honestly, I've never felt more comfortable with any coaching staff that I've ever been coached by, ever been recruited by. Mm -hmm. um, Everybody wants to see you succeed, and uh, they're not going to let you get away with some things that coaches would normally let you get away with. It's it's not important to them. They want to see you excel. They want to see you grow, and mm -hmm. that that that's that's important to me. Coach Scott, he was the first coach to offer me a scholarship, and you know I, I've had a relationship with him since I was 14 years old. So uh, it was very comfortable off the get go. Coach Molly, same thing. Um, from Watching videos on social media, you know, I could gauge the two uh, other coaches, Coach Epps and uh, Coach Kayla. Um, but they are also very cool, and they they just want to see you succeed. And it's it's all about love here. It's all about family. And I knew I was going to hit it off with them immediately, and that's exactly what happened. Let's go back a question. You really drove home that point of family and the emphasis that Coach Scott has on family in this program. When you were at Country Day, you were part of four years varsity. You know what turnover is all about. How difficult can it be to have such an influx of new people get on the same page, and not just in practice, but when you go out on the court, actually make it come together? That's a challenge. Why is this team with eight newcomers ready for that challenge better than maybe another team? I think because, you know, Coach is real big on team bonding and um, being together as much as we can. We are together all the time. If you see one of us, there's at least one or two others of us. And obviously, class schedule depends. But after hours, like, we're all together. We're all hanging out. Um, but I feel like just that togetherness, is it's genuine. It's not forced. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, it's going to be... It's going to be special when we hit the court. Max, let's end this on a really light note. What's your uh, pregame superstition, your pregame ritual, something that uh, fans don't get to see? Well, um, I've got my, I always got my AirPods in. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, super loud, super loud. People are worried about my hearing. Actually, um, you'll fit in well in radio and TV too. Yes, yes. Um, and then uh, I have pre wrap that I go. Uh, it's um, kind of like a mesh type deal. I put it on my knees right right knee first okay four times around and mm -hmm. then the left knee four times around 44 
that's that's my pregame. That's that's my number. That's my pregame ritual, superstition mm -hmm. type deal, and just always hype, always ready to go. What's the jam in your earpods? Anything Drake, uh, Drake. City Girls. Period. <laughs> yes. Sounds good. Hey, that's Maxine Moore. I'm Denny Cap. This is Titan Media Day. More fun coming forward. Stay tuned, and you can always go for more at DetroitTitans.com.